I go to the wine bank. Daniel Penny has had his head under the hood since he was a kid. The grandson of a mechanic who, by his sophomore year in high school, was already working at a dealership. I like working with my hands. I've always liked doing that, so kind of like fit naturally. And we can do that. Now he's earning a degree at Mass Bay Community College's Automotive Technology Program, a school where nearly 100% of its graduates get jobs in an industry struggling to find help. There's guys who are in their 60s still working and they're, they're not going to be working much longer. And uh, there's a lot of young kids that don't want to do that. Is this something that you hear a lot more of in recent years? Absolutely. Nationwide, it's a systemic problem. Mike Koster, parts and service director at Metro West Subaru, says the result is longer wait times for car service. While he currently has a full staff, Koster says some dealerships are having to turn away new customers. Which, from a business standpoint, seems crazy, but that's the position that they are in because they don't have enough technicians to have the ability to take on a new customer. And they're not alone. And they're not alone. A 2023 report from TechForce Foundation, a nonprofit that guides students into careers, finds the industry desperately needs more than 600,000 new techs between 2022 and 2026 for supply to catch up with demand. Dealerships often invest in training, but even that takes money and time. The time it takes for them to be able to work on their own. I guess is, is an expense in itself. The training that these students get in this two year program would take about 10 times as long working at a dealership. And now, thanks to the Mass Educate program, it's free. These are technicians that are going to go out and fix your car, and your children are going to be in that car. And we want to make sure you only have the best. Well, I'm going to show you. I want you to bring up the EWD. Instructor Bob Bolivar believes ground. closing the gap begins with exposing kids to the trade at a young age. It's really rewarding when I see a student come in that really doesn't know much about mechanical things and they discover that they're really good with this and they have a career. A lot of new car dealerships offer condensed work schedules six-figure incomes for, for journeymen and higher. As for Daniel Penny, he is working to become a master diagnostic tech, a goal he hopes to reach in the next five years. It allows me to do more heavy diagnostic work, um, get paid better to do it, and do less heavy lifting so I don't ruin my body after a while. In Ashland, Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5.